Put them in your hand, Rick. Look at that. I put the igniter in and the power was still on and it was under there and 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 it's like look at those burns. He's whining. Oh, he was he had his hands there too. I said only one person near the igniter. And he says, I'll let help you and we both got it's pretty good. This part Okay, everybody has eye protection, right? Yep. Okay, who's your safety person? Okay, safety person. Your job is not to hold the checklist uh, and the igniter. You need to, can you offload that to somebody else? Sure. Safety person shouldn't be involved with anything other than looking for safety stuff. Okay, make sure you. You don't like pull them out. Or, Is that you have your you have an iPhone on you? I don't have mine with me. Uh, yeah, I do. I always launch my rockets straight up. Yeah, that's what Once they leave the rail, you don't know that's which good. way they're gonna go. Right there? Sure. I didn't hear anything, did you? No. Nope. Keep your eyes on the parachute, guys. Did it blow up? Keep your eyes on the parachute. Still coming down. I don't. And hear it, and then it would point away from you, and then it would. No, it was like stopping. I was located with binoculars. Yeah. Rocket has landed. I don't know. It's coming out both sides. All right, so we got it right up. It was a nice off the pad. 
Yeah, but it's kind of locked up. Hold on, what happened right there? Oh, yeah, that almost looks like a fin. Look at that, look at that. Something came off it right there. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened to it. Yeah, it it could have been a nose cone, could have been a fin, could have been anything, right? Yeah. Comes off and it immediately turns Mm -hmm. right. Looks like there's a parachute stuff too or something. Yeah, something. Something so maybe the nose came off first. Yeah, not only does it turn right, but you know the motor chuffs there hard because it's. Oh, so it did chuff. Yeah, and then it, it's flailing. Hmm. Oh, it, good camera work. It, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying. I do lose it here somewhere. Um, yeah, then you have uh, something under parachute here. Hmm. Like, oh my god, I can't believe that parachute actually. Yeah, so you have something, yeah, something that the booster's probably under parachute here, the booster's down here, I'm sorry, sustainer's down here as a pinwheel burning out both ends. And it is under shoot. And it is under shoot, yeah, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of learnings in here, you know, the main thing is like why, the main failure is probably whatever that fin or whatever caused it, you know, mm-hmm. to go off. Uh, regardless, um, the, the sustainer shouldn't have lit. What's interesting is but because it was under shoot, if the shoot oriented it up correctly, maybe for a yeah. bit, then I guess they yeah. would have considered it. But, but you, well, we have a minimum altitude as well, though. We have conditions to be met, and one of them is you have to exceed what? 20, yeah. 17, 700. Oh, 700, 700 feet. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was above 700. Yeah. Yeah. No, that yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. You know, you need to look at what caused your forward closure failure. It that likely would have failed. That that would have failed anyway. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's nothing really. The the in, the most you know, even if you lost all your fins and was flipping, you sh- your failure, your forward closure yeah. shouldn't fail. Yeah. So, um, so you had you know three things at least that to be able to investigate. Um, yeah.